In the movie Greyhound, a 2020 American war film directed by Aaron Schneider, the plot follows a U.S. Navy commander starring Tom Hanks defending a merchant ship convoy under the attack by U-boats which were deployed by the German Kriegsmarine into the Atlantic to enforce a naval blockade disrupting convoys of supply ships between North America and Britain during the Second World War. Many of these U-boats have indeed achieved considerable success during that time and in today's video, the Buzz would like to present the 10 most successful German U-boats or the top 10 scoring U-boats of World War II based on total tonnage. Stay tuned guys and do not miss this. At number 10 on the list for the 10 scoring U-boats of World War II is the German submarine U-47. This was a Type 7B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Navy. U-47 carried out 10 combat patrols and spent a total of 238 days at sea. She was an operational boat in the 7th Flotilla for her entire career. She was sent to sea in a preemptive move before war broke out in September 1939 and this move would enable her to engage enemy vessels as soon as the war began. The U-47 was armed with 14 torpedoes, deck gun and C-30 anti-aircraft gun. During her service in the Kriegsmarine, she sank a total of 30 commercial ships and one warship, so total ships sunk by her was 31 for a total of 191,919 gross register tons. She also damaged 8 commercial ships and one warship. At number 9 is the German submarine U-68. The U-68 was a Type 9C U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine, which was laid down on 20th April 1940 during World War II. U-68 had a length of 76.76 meters and a displacement of 1,120 tons at the surface and 1,232 tons when submerged. She was armed with 22 torpedoes, a deck gun and double A gun. Her first patrol was on 30 June 1941 where she left Kiel for the Atlantic Ocean through the gap between Iceland and the Faroe Islands. Her most successful hunting ground was in the South Atlantic. During her 10th patrol, she was sunk by depth charges and rockets from the United States escort carrier Guadalcanal. Until her 10th combat patrol, she sank 32 merchant ships and sank one auxiliary warship which sums up to 33. This gives a total of 197,988 gross register tons. Up next at number 8 is the German submarine U-66 which was again a Type 9 CU boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. The submarine was laid down on 20th March 1940 at the AG Yard at Bremen and commissioned on 2nd January 1941 under the command of Richard Zapp as part of the 2nd U-boat flotilla. She used the same armament as the U-68 and her first patrol was on 13th May 1940, three days after the start of the invasion of France. U-66 conducted nine combat patrols, sinking 33 merchant ships for a total of 200,021 gross register tons and damaged two British motor torpedo boats. During her ninth patrol, she was sunk by depth charges, ramming and gunfire from Grumman TBF Avenger and four F-4 Wildcat aircraft and by the destroyer escort USS Buckley. The seventh most successful U-boats during World War II is the German submarine U-37. The U-37 was a Type 9 AU boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine and the submarine was commissioned on 4th August 1938 under the command of Heinrich Schuck as part of the 6th U-boat flotilla. She had a most successful mission during her 5th patrol, hitting 11 ships and sinking 10 of them. After her 11th patrol, she reassigned as a training U-boat and remained until the end of the war. Between August 1939 and March 1941, U-37 conducted 11 combat patrols, sinking 53 merchant ships and two warships, the British Hastings class sub HMS Penzance and the French submarine Safax, which sums up to 55. This gives a total tonnage of 202,528 gross register tons. Up next at number 6 is the German submarine U-107. The U-107 was a Type 9B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. The U-boat had a total length of 76.50 meters and had a displacement of 1,051 tons when at the surface and 1,178 tons while submerged. Between January 1941 and August 1944, she sailed on 16 active patrols at a time when U-boat averaged a lifespan of 7 to 10 patrols. 
Her most successful period was during her second patrol where she sank 14 Allied ships mostly belonging to the United Kingdom. During that time, U-107 sank 39 Allied ships for a total tonnage of 217,786 in addition to damaging another four ships. She was later sunk by death charges from short Sunderland EJ-150 of No. 201 Squadron Royal Air Force. And now at number 5, we have the German submarine U-123. This was a Type 9B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine and the U-boat had a total length of 76.5 meters and a displacement of 1,051 tons when at the surface and 1,178 tons when submerged. Her first route was across the North Sea through the gap between the Faroe and Shetland Islands and into the Atlantic Ocean west of Ireland. U-123's last patrol was her longest, that is 107 days. Overall, she conducted 12 war patrols, sinking 44 ships, totaling 223,806 in gross registered tons, and the boat was taken out of service at Lorient on 17 June 1944, and she was raised by the French in 1945 after Germany's surrender and became the French submarine Blazon. Number 4 on the list for the 10 most successful U-boats during World War II is the German submarine U-124. This was again a Type 9B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. She operated in the Atlantic as part of the second U-boat flotilla both west of Scotland and east of the eastern US coast. Her first route took her across the North Sea and through the gap between the Faroe and Shetland Islands. She was also present off northern South America. During her 11th patrol, she was attacked and sunk by two British warships. She conducted 11 war patrols, sinking 46 ships and two warships, which sums up to 48, which gives a total of 224,953 gross registered tons. She also damaged four ships, totaling 30,067 gross registered tons. The third most successful U-boats based on total tonnage during World War II is the German submarine U-103. This was a type of 9B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine and her first patrol entered the Atlantic through the gap between the Faroe and Shetland Islands. She was deployed into the North Atlantic in September 1940 and saw overwhelming success sinking 45 ships and damaging three other vessels. On 15 April 1945, she was sunk by Canadian bombers and one man died and there were an unknown number of survivors. She was one of the most successful boats in the entire war, sinking over 237,596 brass registered tons of 45 Allied ships shipping in 11 patrols in a career lasting more than four years. She also took part in nine wolf packs. The German U-99 is the second most successful U-boat during World War II based on total tonnage. The U-99 was a Type 7B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. During her career, she operated in the Wolf Pack 1 and Wolf Pack 2. On 18th June 1940, she departed Kiel for operations in the North Sea west of Norway, of which it was her first patrol. During her 8th patrol, 8 ships were sunk by her. She was attacked herself with severe damage inflicted. The U-99 was the third most successful German U-boat in the war, sinking 38 ships for a total tonnage of 244,658 gross registered tons of light shipping in 8 patrols. She damaged 5 more ships and took one vessel as a prize. And now the number one spot is none other than the German submarine U-48. This was a Type 7B U-boat of Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine and the most successful that was commissioned. She was a member of two wolf packs and she was armed with 14 torpedoes, a single 8.8cm SKC-35 naval gun and a single 2cm C-30 anti-aircraft gun. U-48 survived most of the war and was scuttled by her own crew on 3rd May 1945 of Neustadt in order to keep the submarine out of the hands of the advancing allies. During her two years of active service, U-48 sank 52 ships for a total of 307,935 tons in 12 patrols and she was also damaged two more for a total of 12,000 tons over 12 war patrols conducted during the opening stages of the Battle of the Atlantic. 
And with that guys, we've come to the end of the video for today, but don't forget to join our family by hitting that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for viewing in, we'll see you in our next video, bye bye.